Hello everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also on old Brighton. I live right here in the city of Memphis in the county of Memphis, in the state of Tennessee. The day date is early Monday morning, December the eleventh, two thousand seventeen time, four thirty five AM. First thing, thank you all my fans, my support for your continue encouraging my support. I'll continue to keep myself employed right here in this Memphis Tri State area. I'll continue to further my education at Monroe College online pursuing my social research study business administration concentration and market. What I'm do right now, do my uh, Instagram. Hello everybody, my name is Eric D. Johnson, also on Old Brighton. I live right here in the city of Memphis in the county city it's in the state of Tennessee. The day date is early Monday morning, December 11, 2017 time, 36 a.m. First thing, thank all my fans, my support for your team, encouragement and support. want to first always give you know, put God first and want to, want to thank God for all his blessings and his guidance I'm doing right now through my Facebook Live.
Hello everybody. My name is Eric D. Johnson. I'm also known by Sean Lee right here in the city of Memphis and the county of Shevis in the state of Tennessee. Today's date is early Monday morning, December the 11th, 2017 time. The time is 4.40 a.m. And first say thank you to all my fans, my support for your continued encouragement and support. And uh, first always put God first and I uh, want to give thanks to God for all the blessings and guidance that he provides, provides us all with now uh, when I do my video I try to uh, go to the Bible we, 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 we've been continuing to uh, go to the uh, dictionary and uh, get the definition of these words that's uh, being um, misused by a bunch of uh, lying, dumb criminals. They lie, they dumb, a bunch of cowards. And um, so, like I say, um, I try to go to the Bible because uh, it's important. And uh, we've been continuing to expose Saul, Saul from Tarsus. The self-proclaimed Apostle Paul, and uh, we'll take a few moments, just a few minutes, uh, just to review what we are, uh, what we have been going over in the uh, Holy Bible, and uh, been been uh, putting uh, emphasis on exposing Saul, like I say, exposing Saul from Tarsus, the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul. We know that uh, in in the book of Acts, as you know, the book of Acts is, is the Acts of the Apostles. And uh, in, the, in the very first chapter, chapter 1, we know after Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ was crucified. He uh, showed himself uh, to uh, many people as well as uh, to his uh, apostles and the disciples. And... Uh, we know that in Acts, like I said, Acts chapter 1, uh, in Jerusalem, uh, it says in Acts chapter 1, verse 16, that uh, Peter, the apostle Peter, stood up in the midst of the disciples, who numbered about a hundred and uh, less than two, let's just say less than two hundred. And in Jerusalem and um, as you know uh, Jesus Christ's mother Mary she was with the disciples in Jerusalem and we know that uh, Acts chapter 1 tells us that another this, uh, apostle was chosen to be an apostle and uh, it was Matthias the light fell upon Matthias in Acts chapter 1 now we know that in, uh, in continuing our reading of uh, Acts chapter 1, we know that the, disi that the disciples uh, multiplied as in uh, Acts chapter 6, verse, verses 1, 2, and 7. It talks about the disciples multiplying and growing. And uh, then we get to Acts chapter 9. Well, uh, Saul from Tarsus persecuting the disciples of the Lord. As, uh, Acts chapter 9, verse number 1. The disciples of the Lord being persecuted by Saul from Tarsus. And uh, in Acts chapter 9, uh, Saul from Tarsus is com uh, converted and uh, by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. On a road called Damascus, on a road called Street in Damascus, excuse me. And uh, 
the disciples. You know, he uh, the disciples that were in Damascus. You know, they they attended to him. Ananias was a disciple, and uh, the apostles. Uh, they were in Jerusalem. They were introduced to Saul from Tarsus and uh, Barnabas, and, uh, and so uh, Saul. You understand? Uh, like I said, he was converted, supposedly converted, and as it tells us in, in Acts chapter nine. Now, also in Acts chapter nine. We know that after uh, after the persecution, the uh, church had risk and was able to grow. You understand? Because Saul from Tarsus was converted, and also in Acts chapter nine, uh, we read about uh, Dorcas uh, Tabitha, who also named Dorcas. And uh, she was a disciple. And uh, when we talk about the disciple, we know that the followers of Jesus Christ were called the disciples, not Christians. We know that's a lie. And uh, it's a lie. Calling being called a Christian is a lie. Now. Uh, Acts chapter uh, 11 we know that Saul was in Antioch as well now he was in Antioch then Barnabas was sent to uh, find a uh, Saul from Tarsus now I got my Bible right here in back we doing review so I don't want anybody to think like I got my Bible right here with my books and um uh, we know that in Acts chapter 11 that uh, Saul, but he was in Antioch. Saul was in Antioch. Barnabas was sent to seek uh, Saul out, to find Saul. And so he, he finds Saul in Antioch. And in Antioch, it says in, in, in Acts chapter 11, that the disciples were first called uh, Christians in Antioch. Now all this happened in Antioch, away from Jer away from Jerusalem. Now, if it was something that Jesus Christ wanted us to do, Jesus Christ Himself would have told you, "Call yourself a Christian." We know that that's a lie. The disciples were in Antioch. In Acts chapter nine, it tells you that the church. Had rest from persecution, and the church grew. It got all of, the church spread all the way to Antioch, and it was they were called the disciples. The disciples. Now, uh, like I say, uh, in Antioch, they heard some some uh, controversy. The disciples were first called Christian in Antioch. So, in uh, Acts chapter thirteen. Verse 13, we know that John, whose surname was Mark, uh, went back to Jerusalem. Went back to Jerusalem. He was traveling with Saul. He went back to Jerusalem. Then we get to Acts chapter 15. There's a meeting in Acts chapter 15 in Jerusalem. And the meeting was uh, about circumcision, but uh, Saul from Tarsus was brought back to Jerusalem as well as Barnabas they were brought back to Jerusalem and this issue about being called a Christian it was not something that was suppressed just because it's you no know, because of circumstances they was aware of it they were made of you know the apostles who were in Jerusalem as well as the elders of the church they were aware that some controversy came up in Antioch and so uh, they addressed it and, 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 and Peter again stood up and started speaking and uh, made it clear that he wasn't going to put a yoke and 
on, on the neck of the disciples. And uh and Acts also in Acts chapter 15, as you know, the uh elders of the church as well as the apostles, they sent epistles to the churches by Saul from Tarsus and Barnabas. And it was uh the uh forbidden uh fornication and meats offered to idols and things of this nature as well as about the circumcision issue and uh, and also being that Saul from Tarsus was in Jerusalem as well as Barnabas whatever it was that, that controversy in, in Antioch about some Christian they addressed it it was addressed and they gave you the answer they gave everybody the answer the disciples. Now, uh, Saul from Tarsus in Acts chapter 15 gets into this sharp contention with Barnabas about John, whose surname was Mark. And uh, he never did. Let's uh, not leave this out. When it comes to John, whose surname was Mark. He never did reconcile with John, whose surname was Mark. Then he gets into a heated uh, dispute with uh, Barnabas. So now he, 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 he has issues with Barnabas, as well as John, whose surname was Mark. So the church sent uh, Barnabas and John, whose surname was Mark, in one direction and they sent Saul as, and Silas in another direction now when it comes to the devil we know that the Bible said you know uh, the devil never repented the devil never repented and uh, when you get to uh, Acts chapter 22 it tells about Saul's conversion Saul tells about his conversion Saul lies about his conversion Saul lied about his conversion when you read Acts chapter 22 you turn back to Acts chapter 9 you see that he lied about those who were with him Acts chapter 9 tells you that the, all those who were with him they heard the voice of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ but they didn't see nobody. But they heard the voice. He lies. He said they ain't hear nothing. They ain't hear anything. But, you know. He lied. Saul from Tarsus lied about his conversion. In Acts chapter 26. Saul from Tarsus again lied about his conversion. Verses 13 and 14. He says, I heard the voice. We know that's that's a lie. Now, generally speaking, he did hear a voice, but he implied that he was the only one who heard the voice. Which what we we know that in Acts chapter nine, it made it perfect and clear that when he was converted, Jesus Christ uh, knocked him down on the street, called straight in the mess. All those who was with him. It tells you in Acts chapter 9, they heard the voice of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. He lied. Now, Acts chapter 26, uh, verse 28, King Agrippa said he almost persuaded to be a Christian. We don't know. We don't even know why we're hearing something like that. After the meeting in Acts chapter 15, we don't know. But as you can see who's there. Saul from Tarsus. Saul from Tarsus. So now we know it was him. We know it was him in Antioch. It was him. So, uh, the third place that this lie about being a Christian in the Bible is uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 16. It, talks, it says that uh, if any man suffer as a Christian, you know, uh, 
that verse, we know that the apostle Peter did not tell anybody to be a Christian. No, he didn't. The apostle Peter did not tell any person to be a Christian. No, he didn't. The apostle Peter was telling you that he was aware that there were people going around lying. They were going around lying and, and talking about some Christian. It's a lie. And he was telling you he was aware of it and giving you instructions on how to address this issue about people lying. Apostle Peter in, in um, 1 Peter chapter 1 verse number 1 it makes it perfectly clear who Peter, who Peter is. For you to even accuse Peter, Apostle Peter, of saying anything. How do you know who uh, the Apostle Peter is? People just run straight to that verse. They just run straight to that verse. They don't even tell you who anything about Peter. You understand? They don't know nothing about it. So go to 1 Peter chapter 1, the very first verse. The Apostle Peter tells everybody who he is. He's an apostle. And a servant of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Now, uh, also, uh, Apostle Peter also tells us in Second Peter, uh, chapter three, verses fifteen through eighteen, that uh, Saul from Tarsus, beloved brother Paul, all that epistle right. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> all that epistle right. That he does, and uh, nobody uh, told him to do that. The elders of the church did not tell him to write no epistles. The apostles they didn't tell Saul to write any epistles. See, this is this goes back to Acts chapter fifteen, when the elders of the church and the apostles wrote the epistles and sent Saul from Tarsus and Barnabas to go to all the churches and and, and, and to uh, inform the churches what the uh, elders of the church and the apostles know the decision they made about the circumcision issue and, and, and about uh, 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 things being offered to idols stay away from blood and Stay away, you know, not to fornicate and things is next. And uh, so he he, he started all this epistle right and uh, number a bunch of lies. All it, nothing, in and everything he says is number of lies. All he doing is lying. Like I said, uh, when you read the Bible, the devil never repented. The devil never repented. So uh, we're going to continue to expose Saul from Tarsus, the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul. And uh, we're going to continue to uh, promote the disciples and, uh, and continue to uh, expose this lie. Talking about being a Christian is a lie. Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ did not tell you to be a Christian. It's a lie. They lie. All these man-made religious organizations, they lie. And uh, man-made religious organizations such as the Catholic Church, the Church of Christ, uh, the Nation of Islam, the Black Hebrew Israelites, the Scientologists, uh, the Baptist Church, the Methodist Church, 
the um, uh, what they call it, the Presbyterian Church, the Episcopalian Church, the Lutheran Church, the Anglican Church, uh, Eastern Orthodox Church. They all line. They all line. Uh, Scientology, uh, uh, just name just, uh, the Seventh Day of Venice Church, the Jehovah Witnesses. They line. They're man-made religious organization. They like this way it's coming from. This is where they're getting it from. This, this is this is the source. Romans chapter 16, verse 16. You see church with the suffix ES on it. That's where they're getting it from. Romans chapter 16, verse 16. That's what these man-made religious organizations getting it. This is the source. And this is the other place in the Bible. And as you know, it was Saul from Tarsus. They wrote this. Church with the suffix E-S. said we're going to continue to uh, stay on uh, uh, promote the disciples. We're going to continue to promote the disciples and continue to expose Saul from Tarsus, the self-proclaimed Apostle Paul. And again, in the Bible the devil never repented. We're going to continue to talk about African traditional religion. As you know, African traditional religion is being taught in institutional higher learning meaning colleges and universities and sub saharan Africa. You can earn a bachelor's degree, master's degree, you can earn a PhD studying African traditional religion. to read from referred to as titled West African Tradition Traditional Religion written by Dr. Joseph Omasay Valeno Dr. P at the Lumo Pay Move. Another book we're gonna continue to read from referred to as titled African Traditional Religion a definition written by Dr. E. Below John I know who. Another book we're gonna continue to read from referred to as Title African Religion and Philosophy by Dr. John S. M. B. Another book we're going to continue to read from refer to a tiny concept of the God of Africa written by Dr. John S. M. Beebe.
as you know, there are many governors all over this earth that uh, enact laws, and those laws are intended to make each and every one of us safe from crime, organized crime. And the United States government, and the United States government enacted a law, the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970, and Title IX of the Organized Crime the Organized Crime Control Act of 1970 is the Racketeer Influence and Corrupt Organizations Act, the RICO Act, is anti-gang. So the uh, United States government enacted the Comprehensive Drug Abuse Prevention and Control Act of 1970, the, Contro the Controlled Substance Act, the Psychotropic Substances Act, the Continuing Criminal Enterprise Statute, as well as the uh, uh, Kingpin Enterprise, the Criminal Enterprise Statute or the Kingpin Statute is all anti-gang. Now, uh, the Juvenile Justice, Justice and Delinquency Prevention Act of 1974 established the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, plus other related legislation. It's anti-gang. The Comprehensive Anti-Gang in this Office of Juvenile Justice, Delinquency Prevention, and Comprehensive Gang Mob, the Office of Juvenile Justice, Delinquency Prevention, Bureau of Justice Assistance, Office of Justice Program, and the United States Department of Justice. You can go to uh, youth.gov and be informed about the comprehensive anti-gang in this, as well as the comprehensive gang model. Now, the Office of Justice Program Bureau of Justice in the United States Department of Justice comprehensive anti-gang in this and Project Safe Neighborhood. United States Department of Justice Office of Community Oriented Police and Service comprehensive anti-gang in this. The Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program Bureau of Justice Assistance. International Narcotics and Law Enforcement Affairs, United States Department of State, Institute for Intergovernmental Affairs, Gang Resistance, Education and Training, the Great Program. The United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program, the Office of Juvenile Justice Links of Prevention, in October 2009, the National Youth Gang Center, which had been funded by the Office of Juvenile Justice Links of Prevention since 1995, merged with the National Gang Center, which had been funded by the Bureau of Justice Assistance since 2003. The National Gang Center compilation of state laws against gangs. You can go to the National Gang Center website and be informed about uh, state laws against gangs. Gang prevention overview of research and program. Mr. James C. Howard, Office of Juvenile Justice and Legal Prevention. The United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Assistant, Office of Juvenile Justice and Legal Prevention, National Gang Center Bullets, and the title of that bulletin History of Street Gangs in the United States. And uh, when you read the bulletin, read the books in the bulletin. And uh, you can also find the same information on Wikipedia. And it's titled, Gangs in the United States. The United States Department of Justice Office of the United States Attorney Man, 1457 Criminal Street Gang Statute. 18 United States Code 521. United States Department of Justice Federal Bureau of Investigation National Gang Intelligence Center. The United States Department of Justice Organized Crime and Gang Section and other federal, state, and local agencies. The United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program National Institute of Justice Anti-Gang Strategies Prevention, Intervention, Assessment, and Suppression. The United States Department of Justice Office of Justice Program, National Institute of Justice, United States Department of Health and Human Services, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, National Center for Injury Prevention and Control, Change in Course, Preventing Gang Membership, and also Strive, Striving to Reduce Youth Violence Everywhere. 
the United States Department of Justice, the United States Department of Education, the United States Department of Health and Human Services, the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, the United States Department of Labor and the White House Office of National Drug Control Policy, National Forum on Youth Violence Prevention Forum. You can go to youth.gov, me inform about the National Forum on Youth Violence Prevention. The United States Department of Justice, the Bureau of Justice Assistance, National Crime Prevention Council, keeping kids out of games. And also anti-hazing. You can go to lawyers.com and be informed about anti-hazing. So, coercion, coerce, sexual coercion, psychological, co psychological coercion, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse. Coercion, coerce, sexual coercion, psychological coercion, psychological manipulation, psychological abuse. This is the map of the, of the world. This is the world map. We continue to um, go to the dictionary and get the definition of the words, you know, gang, gong, uh, uh, gang, goon, goon is uh, English, uh, boss, that's Dutch, we know gang is German, the abbreviation, mob, we know that's Latin, as well as thug, that's Indian. Um, and then all these other words that the um, criminals, organized criminals, organized crime, uh, the fraternity, sorority, the criminal street gangs, and, and also the man-made religious organizations, they uh, use these words such as player, uh, Mac, Stone, uh, Pimp, Whore, uh, Hustler. Uh, you know, they, they, they make up all kind of words. They make up all kind of words. And, uh, We look. We go. We go to the uh, dictionary, and we get the definition of these words. Then you find out what the words mean. Just like gang, you find out that the word means the act, a manner, a means of going. It means the action, the mode uh, of going. You know what I'm saying? And it, it don't even mean anything about getting, you know, being against anybody. Uh, 
being a criminal. Yeah, you know me and then uh screw. <coughs> to like the abbreviated screw. abbreviation mob it's an abbreviation it's an abbreviation of mobile don't have anything to do with no being on gang no gangster it's an abbreviation of mobile and then we had to go to the dictionary to make sure we pronounce it mobile to get the pronunciation and so uh there are people in Europe, you know, there are, there are many European uh, people that live in Europe and they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African West African slave trade. And um, the Albanian speaking people. The Albanian speaking people, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African or West African slave trade. European nation of Lithuania and Latvia. They were not involved. They did not participate in the East African or West African slave trade. European nation of Greece, the Greek speaking people, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African West African slave trade. Slavic speaking people, East European people, and, uh, they speak the Slavic language. They were not involved, they did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade. Uh, the East European nations of Russia, the Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland, Bulgaria, Belarus, Ukraine, the former Yugoslavian Republic of Serbia, Croatia. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Slovenia, Montenegro, Macedonia, Kosovo. They were not involved. They did not participate in the East African West African slave trade. European nation of Turkey, also known as uh, Anatolia, as well as the Ottomans. They speak the Turkic language. Now the Turkic language is classified as Altaic. Now, <coughs> excuse me. The Altaic speaking people, they were not involved. They did not participate in the East African, West African slave trade.
around the East European nation of Hungary, the Hungarians, Finland, the Finnish, Estonia, the Estonians. They speak the Uralic language. You know, Uralic, Altaic language. And all. Uh, the Uralic, Altaic speaking people, they were not involved. They did not participate in the East African or West African trade, slave trade. East European nation of Romania, Romania. Now, Romania, <coughs> now Romania, the, the Romanians, you know, they speak Latin, and as you know, Latin is, you know, the Romance languages of uh, Italian, uh, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and uh, Romania is uh, divided into three uh, you know, divisions uh, Moldavia Transylvania and Wallachia and uh, historically the Romanians are Greek they're not uh, 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 Latin they're not Latin historically historically the people in Romania are Greek they're the Thracians now uh, Prior to the Roman conquest of Dacia, the territories between the Danube and the Dynasty River were inhabited by various Thracian peoples, including the Dacian and the Gitae. Now it says, uh, Roman incursions under Roman Emperor Trajan between 101 102 AD, 105 106 AD resulted in half of the Dacian kingdom becoming a province of the Roman Empire called Dacia Felix. The Roman rule lasted for 165 years. During this period, the province was fully integrated into the Roman Empire, and a sizable part of the population were newcomers from other provinces. The Roman colonists introduced the Latin language. According to followers of the continuity theory, the intense Romanization gave birth to the Proto-Romanian language. So, uh, like I said, the, the uh, Romanian people historically were Greek people, the Thracians. And uh, Romania has a history of slavery. And the people who were enslaved in Romania were the Roma people, the Gypsies. And uh, the Roma people are people that came originally from India. From India. And uh, Slavery in Romania, uh, it was abolished. It was abolished. Now you know abolished is legal terminology. When you abolish, you end. You know you ended the government. The government ended, and they tell you that it's wrong. The government told the Romanian people that it was wrong, and they told the Roma, the Roma people that it was wrong by abolishing slavery uh, 18, early 1800 and between 
you know, between the early 1800s and 1850. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, during World War II, uh, Romania, uh, some of the most uh, heinous and, and grotesque uh, atrocities that ever been recorded in human history were, 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 were committed by Adolf Hitler and the Germans. Over 300,000 Romanian Jews and Christians and, and just Romanian people period were murdered by Adolf Hitler and the Germans. Over 10,000 other Roma people were murdered by Adolf Hitler and the Germans. Now, today, the Roma people they are fully assimilated and integrated into Romanian society. Now, as you know, uh, the Roma people, the Gypsies, they live, you know, them all over Europe as well as other parts of, you know, of the world. And the Romanian people, they were not involved, they did not participate in the East African or West African slave trade. I do have a Merriam-Webster dictionary. Copyright 2004. The Cyrus. Copyright 2005. Dictionary and thesaurus. First edition, 2001. Second edition, 2007. Third edition, 2009. Oxford American Dictionary and Thesaurus. The 
the first edition 2002, second edition 2006, third edition 2010. to the uh, dictionary and uh, as, as you know uh, I had bought, bought a uh, magnifying glass amazon.com about six dollars for the shipping. Now, this magnifying glass, it came with the Compact Oxford English Dictionary. This is the Webster's Third New International Dictionary. All the people that were that were um, they contributed to the making of this dictionary. The Miriam Webster editorial staff, from the editor in chief on down to the associate editors, assistant editors, editorial staff, editorial assistants. Your know, secretary and clerical uh, assistants. Your outside consultants. There's a lot of education, bachelor degree, master degree, PhDs.
first word we're going to go to in the dictionary is gang. It's gang. Gang number one. It's a noun. Gang number one is a noun. Middle English from Old English akin to Old High German. Gang, act of going. Old Norse, ganger, act of going. Got, gang, street. Okay, number one, the act, manner, or means of going. Passage, course, journey. That's what the word means. The very first definition, it means the act, manner, or means of going. Passage, course, journey, also gate. Number two, A, dialect, chiefly British. Passage, way, road, lane. Number two, A. Passage for cattle beat, chiefly Scottish journey, especially one under taken to perform an errand, chiefly Scottish. The amount as of wood, water, or peat that can be carried at one time or in one trip. 3A, number one, a set or full complement of articles out there. And gang of oars. As you know, that's that's an invention. Number two, a combination of similar implements or other. Items arranged so as to act together at the same time or labor. A gang of saws or the producer one operation or as one unit. A gang of printing plates printing several jobs on a single sheet. B. A number of individuals making up a, a group as one. A group of persons working under the same direction or at the same task migrants. Laboring in gangs in the, in the woods, mines. And fields, American guys, uh, let me see, gangs of expert bottomers squealed on the other members of the gang. Number three, an elementary, a close knit social group of spontaneous origins. Such a unit composed of anti social adolescent teenage gangs. Number four, a group of persons acting in accord who are believed to engage in improper acts or to be influenced by self-seeking corrupt or unworthy motives made captive by the gangs which seize power a political gang dragged out the racial issue to divert attention from itself a group of congenial persons having close and informal social relations a group of persons drawn together by a community of tastes interest or activity. One of a gang that call one another great. Invite the gang plus some pretty girls. Where's the gang going tonight? The gang in the office. Number six, a flock or herd of animals. A gang of little chickens. A gang of elk. Now gang number two is a bird. To attack a person as a gang. Young hoodlums always gang you. Try to gang him and take it away from him. 2A to assemble or operate mechanical or electronic parts simultaneously, simultaneously as a group circuits gang together by gears. B. To arrange in or produce as a gang as type pages or printed sheets often used with up. To form a group or gang, keep company, go travel empty headed, idle handed, widows who gang together. Gangs with those kids on the next block. Often used with up. The boys would gang up around the corner drugstore. Now gang number three. We on gang number three. Middle English gang gang to go walk. From old English gang gang akin to old high German gang gang to go. Old Norse gang up. Got gang gang to go. Old English gang. A 
strength of going. Scottish, go. Now, let's go to Gangster. It's a noun gang plus stir. A member of a gang of criminals, gunmen, thugs. Also, a person who uses violence, intimidation, or other extra legal means of coercion for business in. Racketeer. A gangster. In some kind of syndicate that controls stores and nightclubs. Name one gangster as the real boss of of the city. So gang plus stir. We know that's that's not true. We know like I, I just showed you what the word gang means. I just showed you. So what's what's all this gang telling you a gangster? It's a lie. It's a lie. See, when you read the dictionary see little girls and little boys on the south side of Chicago, west side of Chicago, east, north side state of Illinois period. See, it's a lie. No such thing as no gangster. Little girls, little boys on the East Coast. Little girls, little boys. Los Angeles, California. Little girls, little boys all over the United States. All over the world. There's no such thing as no gangster. There's no such thing as no monster. There's no such thing. It's a lie. It's a lie. They lie. The criminals, organized crime, they lying. Now, we're going to stay in this decent area. Let's go to uh, fraternity. See when you when you when you find the word when you find fraternity, you find fraternal, fraternized, uh, freighter, and freighter and freighty. But what you always find is the same word F R A freight. That's what you really find is freight. Keep saying the same word over and over again, brother. This, this, so let's let's read fraternity. Middle English fraternity, from Middle French and Latin. Middle French fraternity, from Latin fraternite, fraternitas, 
return us. Plus, I take number one, a group of people associated or formally organized for a common purpose, interest, or pleasure as a religious or ecclesiastical brotherhood be a usually organized group of men of the same class, occupation, interest, or pursuit, company, gift, fraternal, or C, a national or local men's student organization formed chiefly for social purposes and having secret rights in a name consisting of usually three Greek letters, also an organization of alumni who were members of such an organization being a student organization for school and professional or extracurricular activity. A national honorary organization including students and alumni and honorary fraternity debate fraternity number 2A. The quality of the state of being a brother or being brothers. The state of being brotherly or very friendly. Brotherliness. C. And brotherly commonness as of occupation men with a fraternity of interest. Three men of the same class, profession, occupation, character or taste. The legal fraternity, the race train fraternity, the despised fraternity of armchair historians. 4A. The entire progeny of a single maiden. B. A group of siblings. So that, that's, that's what you when you say fraternity. Now we know that there are syllable breaks in fraternity. So you have to look up fray. You have to look up ter, T E R. Ni fraterna N I and T Y and that's what that's what I've been doing, you know. Uh looking we know Frey, F R A and Fro. It's brother. Frey T means brother. Frey Tur means brother. Fraterno means brother. Fraternity means brother. You saying brother over and over again. It means brother. And so we know there's a lie that the fraternity tell about being initiated. It's a lie. Because the word fraternity means brother. So all this stuff about some Greek letters and all that handshakes and colors and, you know, uh, the initiation, it's a lie. It's, that's the lie that they tell they sitting around here bragging about uh, being initiated into the fraternity. They join the fraternity. See, that's a lie. See, brothers, when you had to join, what, what, what you mean you had to join? Join what? The word freight fraternity means brother. So what you mean you join? And what is this initiation? And who told you that's what it means to be initiated. Who said that that's the way you're supposed to be initiated? See, that's the lie you be telling. They lie. They lie. The fraternity and the sorority, they lie. As well as these criminal street gangs, the organized crime, they lie. Now we're going to go over here to Frey right for answer. Frey F-R-A. It's right over here. See, there's two Frey. Frey number one. Preposition. Middle English, Northern dialect. Frey, fro, from, on. Or this old, old Norse Frey. Boy from Scottish from then you have fray number two. Then fray number two short for fray T brother. Latin Freighter brother. So it's it's it's, it's short. When you say fray, it's short for fray T, short for fray tur. Brother. That's what it means. Frey means brother.
gonna have to speed up a little bit here. All right, we we in mob, we on mob, okay, mob. Okay, it's mob number one, mob number two, mob number three, and mob number four. Now we know mob is is an abbreviation, a mobile mobilization and mobilize. Yeah. Okay, mob number one. Uh, it said number one, origin unknown, obscure, undressed, disavowed. Number two, uh, a mop, woman's cap, mob cap, mob cap. Okay, mob number two is a verb, mob, mob, mobbing, mob. Um, back formation from mobile, I came to muffle the head of as in a hood. Number two, our kid to dress oneself negligently, to go to an unfashionable place, disguise or so, dress as to avoid recognition. Mob number three, short for mobile. Let's see, there we go. Mob number three, short for mobile. Mobile. The number one, the lower classes of a community, the populace, or the lower part of it. Mass the use of superstition for the purpose of policing the mob. Political spell binding to appeal to the mob mind. Number two, a, a large and disordered collection of people tending to acts of violence, windows smashed, and police beaten by the angry mob. A fear of mob rule. B. Obscure. People in a large disorderly group used without an article. People in a the lane was full of mob and the house so full we could not get in number three chief the Australian a flock drove or herd of animals for a a criminal set or organization as of pickpockets or gangsters gang being click set sitting there see crap see we know that's that's a lie when you know the definition of gang Mob can't be a definition for gang. You know the definition of gang. We just went over. Mob cannot be a definition for gang. We just went over. We just went over gang. See, this is the lie that people been telling. And they've been misusing words and sounds. Okay, mob number four. Verb, mob, mob, mobbing. One, eight, two, crowd about and attack. Or north, mob by autograph, hunters before he could enter the theater. Attack in a mob, a crowd tried to mob him and he ran for safety into the superintendent's office. Beat to crowd into or around. Bargain hunters that mob the stores on sale days. To rail it, okay, was it uh, dialect English? To rail that scold abuse, number three, to hunt as a fox in such a way as to allow the quarry no chance to escape as by surrounding it to form a disorderly mob. Okay, now let's move down here to mobile. Now it's mobile number one, mobile number two, mobile number three, mobile number four. Now, mobile number four, that's down in Alabama. M Mobile, Alabama. So, let's go to mobile number one. Okay, it's an adjective. Middle French from Latin, mobilis. Movibilis. Latin, movere, to move. Abilis. More and more. Number one, capable of moving or being moved from one place to another. Movable as a capable of moving or being moved about readily. Global of proteins that are mobile and rod shaped proteins that form solid structures. The tongue is clearly the most mobile articulator, okay? Characterized by an extreme degree of fluidity, either in mercury or mobile liquids. 
Compare Fiscus organized and equipped for ready movement as by truck or air transport, mobile fighting force and mobile television. Units for on the spot reporting seek free for use or service where they can best advance the welfare of the whole institution. Mobile labor could be sent anywhere in England. D. Designed as a vehicle or mounted on a vehicle or easily placed on or in a vehicle as a trailer or truck. Mobile loudspeakers carrying the campaign speech into the streets. A mobile missile launch. Mobile home. Two capable of or tending to it to change. Changeable as a change in readily in appearance and expression under the influence of mind or feeling. His mobile face mirrors every feeling from bitter sadness to ecstasy. Be easily swayed in feeling, purpose or direction. A mind adventurously flexible but not fearlessly mobile. Marred by ready adaptability industrial resource as so mobile that they could be quickly switched from producing for export to producing for home demand. Alert and flexible in the use of resources. A mobile imagination and organization enough, mobile enough to cope with in emergent three characterized by frequent or continuous movement, the wind and mobile grass tended to travel or migrate from place to place. We began as explorers, empire builders, pilgrims and refugees and we are still today the most mobile people on the face of the earth. The Indians of the Great Plains were mobile bison hunters. For a characterized by the mixing of social groups. For a characterized by the mixing of social groups. The general confusion of moral standards which characterizes mobile societies before the opportunity for a shift in social status. American society, though highly mobile, is not classless. B. Having the opportunity for, for undergoing a shift in status within the hierarchy of social levels of a society, a society in which women are more mobile than men, born of upward mobile middle class parents. Born uh, marked by the use of vehicles for transportation, mobile defense, mobile warfare, to to their car for, for a mobile holiday, of relating to it having the characteristics of a mobile. Now, mobile number two. Okay, I might speed up. Basically, mobile number two is saying the same thing. And then you have mobile number three, not mobile number three, the pronunciation is different. Mobile, mobile focus, changeable crowd, the movable common people. Neutral or mobilist, adjective. See number three, mob. Okay, so that's, that's mobile. Then we have mobster. It's a noun mob plus stir. A member of a criminal gang.
we're looking up STIR, S-T-E-R. A personal thing associated with an activity of quite old in history. History. Early example referred to a woman engaged in an occupation such as Brewster Monster and Spencer. This last. Originally a woman who spins the ending was the feminine equivalent of words ending in E-R-E, which later became E-R-C-E-R-1. It has long been extended to activities undertaken by men such as chorister or teams of words in which it refers to a characteristic of the person, including youngster in the U.S. derived oldster as well as hipster, a person with hip, who follows the latest trends and fashion less off the end refers to objects roaster being a rare example. It often has a derogatory sense tipster, rhymester, prankster. Many of these are more common in the U.S. than Britain. Gangster, gangster, hookster, jokester, mobster, punster, trickster. Such terms continue to be formed again most frequently in the U.S. Popster, hypster, soulster, scamster. Maps, master comes from Old English, master. But derived from Latin, magister, see, also ma meister, meester. Others that derive from Latin words with the same ending include minister and barrister, formed from bar, in imitation of minister, as do nouns ending in A S T E R, such as poster, and words such as boaster, jester, broadcaster, and protester. The suffix is E R, C E R 1, or a stem ending in S T. Now this copyright 1976. Seen the same soro. Okay, sorority. Middle Latin sororitas. 
from Latin, sogro, means sister. Plus itis, iti, more as sister. Number one, sisterhood. Number two, a society club of girls or women, as in a college. Compare fraternity. See, that's the lie. It's a lie. See, the word sorrow is Latin, and all it means is sister. That's all it means, sister. So all that stuff about some Greek letters, three Greek letters and and colors and handshakes and all that other stuff, they be making it up. It's a lie. And when you make up stuff, you be lying. And then you sit around talking about you're going to join a sorority. You're going to join. That's a lie. The word soro is Latin. All it means is sister. How you gonna get initiated? See, that's the lie you tell me. That's a lie. Because the way you get initiated, that's a lie. The reason why I'm getting you getting initiated, that's a lie. See, everything you say ain't nothing but a lie. The sorority is a big lie. Sororo, Latin soro. Now I know we, we, we break down sorority, so, and then raw, then the I, then the ty. Now we're gonna come, we're gonna come back to so. We're gonna come back, we're gonna come back on uh, time won't permit. We're gonna move on. Let's go to stir. Suffolk, Middle English, stir, estrian, from Old English, estri, female, agent, of king, to Middle Dutch, stir, the one, one that does or handles or operates, spinster, tapster, teams, number two, one, associated with or participates in, gangster, gangster, okay, number two, one, that makes or uses, songs or punch, and then number three, one that is associated with or participating in gangster and gangster. So that's stir. Copyright 1971. Copyright 1971. Like we've been going over the timeline, the Webster's third 
New International Dictionary. That means it was a, 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 a second dictionary in 1934 and the first dictionary in 19, uh, 1909 and then 19, uh, well, we, we know it's a first edition. So uh, on the timeline, on the, on the, on the Webster's uh, first, second, and third, and then we know the third, it started in 1961, the third, and uh, now the Oxford English Dictionary, we know it was complete in 1933, the first edition, Oxford English Dictionary, first edition, 1933, they had a supplement, and then uh, they had a uh, 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 edition series. And then they had a uh, 1989 edition, second edition. Now, so this is the first edition. See, this is the compact Oxford English Dictionary. This is the compact edition of the first edition. It was done in 1971. Gang. Old English gang, then gone. Old High German gang, Middle High German gang, Old Norse ganger, Goth gang. Then, then you had your old Teutonic. Noun of action related to ganging. A, a passage language from which some of the English senses may possibly derive. Okay. Roman numeral number one. Roman numeral number one. Action or mode of going. Way passage. No one steps. Going. Journeys. Old English only. Number two. The power of going. Ability to walk about. B. Man of going gate carriage. C. The act of walking. D. Currency of money. Number three. A journey. Sometimes with definition of extent as a day. B. A traveling or resorting. Number four. A way road of passage. B. The course of a stream. C. A walk of pasture for cattle. Also the right of pasture. Number five, a step or rung on a ladder. Number six, dialect, a turn or spell in any work or exercise. Number seven, the coin to amount used to carry it at one time. Now, the old English gang or gone, privy appears in later in the English only as gone. So now we have Roman number two. 
a set of things or persons. Number eight, a set of articles such as are usually taken together. B, a set of tools or implements so arranged as to work simultaneously. A company of workmen. B, a company of slaves or prisoners. Number 10, any band or company of persons who go about together or act in concert, chiefly in a band or the priesthood sense, any mode, usually mainly associated with criminal society. B, to be of a gang, to belong to the same society, to have the same interests. Number 11, U.S., a collection or herd of animals of the same species, especially of elk or buffalo, also a pack of dogs. Now, Roman number number three. Okay, then know the implements worked in six. Now you got gang number two is a verb. To arrange in a gang, also to gang out, to arrange in companies. Number two, to gain in, to come in a game. Turn to fraternity. Turn to fraternity. Okay, then fraternity from fraternals pertaining to a brother. See fraternal. 
Number one, the relation of a brother or of brothers. Brotherhood. Number two, the state of crime of being fraternal or brotherly. Brotherliness. Number three, a family of brothers. Number four, a body or order of men organized for religious or devout purposes. Number five, a body of men associated by some tie or common interest. A company, a guild. Number six, a body of men of the same class, occupation, pursuit. And it's still going to tell you, fratty and fraternal, fray. Then you have to turn to fro. In this dictionary, you have to turn to fro. So, I'm going to have to stay on fro, but that's what it did, fray, it says an obscure form of fro, so you had to go to fro, and then you had to do your research. Alright, let's go to ma. You know, it's a abbreviation of mobile. The disorder and riot is part of the population. One of the common mass of people, the lower orders, the uncultural or illiterate as a class. Disorder or lower class people forming a crowd. Number four, a promiscuous assemblage of people, a multitude or aggregation of persons regarded as not. Individually important in Australian use without disparaging implication of crowd. A heterogeneous collection or crowd. See of originally Australian flock or drove of animals. D. Shetland dialect a school of whales. Number five slang company or gang of thieves or pickpockets working in collusion. Number six. Uh, Mob assembly. Number seven, special company, mob courtship, courtship among the lower class of mob defense. Defense by the populace as opposed to military defense. Then you got mob again. Okay, uh, mob cap. A strumpet. Number two, a negligent attire and disabil. Bow. Number three, mob cap. Okay, then you have a mob again to muffle the head of a person to dress untidily. To mob to go in mobbing to go in disguise or attend so as to escape recognition to the unfashionable part of a theater. Then you have mob as a verb to attack in a mob of disorderly crowd. B to force a person into an action, drive him from a place by mobbing him. Number two, to form a mob to congregate in a mob of disorderly crowd. Number three, to mix up with a mob. Number four, 
to abuse gold rail that dialect also. Okay, so there's my memory got mobile. Okay, uh, first grand great principal mobile. Anglicized form of prima mobile. Number two, metaphysical body, emotional capable of movement. Then you got mobile number two. Short form of that mobile focus, the move or inside of a crowd. The common people, the populist rabble. Then you got mobile number three. Capable of movement, move but not fixed or stationary. A. In various applications of the sight, wandering, not steady, of a star, not fixed. B. Of a limb and organ of the body, movable, not fixed, free. C. Of a liquid that has its particles capable of free movement. D. Of a cell molecule capable of separate movement, free, not adding or mixed. E. Mobile spasms. Goals term for the slow and irregular movement that occur in the extremity after hemiplegia. Number two, characterized by facility of movement. B of a person, his mind that turns is turn either from one thing to another. Okay, it was uh, constantly in motion. Number three, military troops that may be easily and rapidly moved from place to place. Okay, so there's mobile. We got the uh, pronunciation key.
sorority, sorority. Middle Land sororitus, or from Land Soro sister. After fraternity. Number one, a body or company of women united for some common object, especially for devotional purpose. You as the female section of a church congregation. Number two, you as a women's society in a college or university. So raw means sister. That's what it means sister so all this stuff about initiation they lie they lie the way you the way to uh get initiated that's a lie the reason for initiation that's a lie all this stuff about Greek letters that's a lie colors hand sign that's a lie they make up all that junk. They lie. They lie. It's all a big lie. Now we're gonna come back. We're gonna we're gonna stay on on these words. You know, breaking down fraternity and breaking down so raw a t. We're gonna break it down. You uh, know, and as well as all the other words, we're gonna break them down and get the meaning, the definition. You uh, know, so like I said, we're gonna we're gonna stay on it and we're gonna come back uh, again. My name is Eric D. Johnson, also known as Bradshaw. I live right here in the city of Memphis, in the county sheriff, in the state of Tennessee. And uh, I thank all my fans for support for your continued encouragement and support. And uh, always put God first. Until next time, take care of yourself. Wish each and every one of your very best.